and my game just went up, so I caught. A lot of the coaches out there are telling you how to do something. Yeah. Using their preferences and say, try and feel this or try and do that, and expecting you to try and meet their ideals. Whereas what we have to do here, we've got to listen to your body. Your body's going to give us the answer, and your body already has all these movement patterns in it. What a golf shot. Great shot, Chris. Really push your heart down now as you go up. That's it. Feel different? Yeah. I thought it's going. Everything seems to know where it wants to go. Great shot. Just feeling that timing. Feel that? Yeah. You can hear the difference, can't you? Yeah. The extension through the legs. Really use that pop of the legs. That's it. That should be, you can do that here. I ended up finding myself, sort of stood on the first tee thinking I'm out last part of that, I'm cocking in the right position and my game just went down, so it popped because all I was doing was thinking all the time rather than just trying to hit it. Yeah, um, thinking golf swing instead of playing golf. Yeah. What would make the biggest difference to your game then? What do you... Um, so I, my biggest miss at the minute is getting that weight forward and so I hit behind the ball quite a bit. Look fucking swing innit? Everyone says that, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> Bandit. If only it was a good result after every shot. Right. I don't know how I could feel. It's well behind the ball. Yeah, just catching it before. What you're feeling with your hand is essentially what you'll feel with the club. That club face only does what my hand does. Yeah? But because we've had our attention here so much, positioning it in space, we've lost the connection between, we're not aware of our hand and the club, we're not aware of this relationship, so we lose that relationship. Yeah, absolutely. But now you can start to feel what this is like, what's the draw like, what's the fade like, and where does that finish take you to, and then swinging back and through, and suddenly your body movement starts to adapt too. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah that's a much simpler way of thinking about it, really, isn't it? All you have to do, is think about what spin you want to put on the ball mm -hmm. and what trajectory do you want to start it on is a reaction so what's the body reacting to if you if, if your attention's on yourself it's reacting to you trying to position a club and that's very different to trying to swing a golf club to play a golf shot so it should be reacting to a shot the body's not really used to being told what to do it just needs to be told what what, what you want to do i think that's probably where i've struggled in this it's been overly critical all the time but it's not it's not perfect you know it's not what you watch another tell it's like an overload yeah a lot of the coaches out there are telling you how to do something yeah using their preferences and they say try and feel this or try and do that and really they're seeing that through their reality and expecting you to try and meet their ideals whereas what we have to do here, we've got to listen to your body. Your body's going to give us the answer, and your body already has all these movement patterns in it. So all these patterns, no matter what sport you play, are already in your system. You've just got to adapt them to golf. You need to disrupt the system a bit. The way you find your golf swing, as you know from the videos, is by challenging the body. And when, when I say challenge, I mean movement-wise and tension. So we're challenging the body. And what we start to see, we start to see your movement emerge. And it's all we've got to do is be aware of what's changing. So I want you to step on there for me, on the discs. Right. First of all, I just want you to get comfortable with them. So I just want you to tip them back and forth. Think of a clock face, 12 to twelve o'clock to six o'clock. And then I want you to go from side to side, three to, three to nine. So first of all, let's get a feel of pressure. And then we can use pressure to move body weight. And now we can control our body weight. So you can move from side to side. But if you just did that with your upper body, probably fall. Yeah. So what does your body do? It freezes, we get a fight, flight, freeze response, body tightens up, it's rabbit in their light, swing stops, body stops, arms still have to go to the ball. That's it, notice where your feet want to go. Notice where the weight wants to go on that left foot. Yeah. yeah. I want you to use that action now, you can use your right arm for the temping action, if the high draw, but use the, use the power from the lower body into that finish. So now you're going to completely unload off that right foot and push off it into your foot. So you can use, there you go, different feel. Yeah. So now the arm gets thrown. Use that power from the ground to buy the hips to give you the power. Feel where the power's coming from there. Yeah. Yeah. You can almost feel it all the way up your leg, can't you? Yeah, vertical force. Remember, that's only doing what your hand does. So if we start to think about this, this does it too. Right. Make sense? Yeah. Yeah, so it's literally throwing the ball, yeah. but, but not just throwing it, 
the trajectory, the spin. Yeah, have a swing for me. That's it. Cool. In fact, feel where that power comes from from the legs. Can you feel that? Yeah, or he feels so much different. Have a couple of shots. Don't now. I don't want you to be um, concerned where the ball goes. Right. At the moment, our attention is just on the sequencing of the body. Learning is a skill, um, and we want to be. We want to be a skilled learner. We want to be. So we need to be disciplined in where our attention is and not get distracted. We can very easily get distracted by the strike in the ball when we're actually trying to develop awareness on the body. Mm -hmm. So it's like just for these only for two or three shots. But it's like I'm just feeling. My, I'm just feeling. I'm comparing what I just did here to now hitting golf balls, but you're keeping your mind in this place. Just in that movement. Yeah, yeah and you're, and it could be a, Chris, it could be a, what you might think is a shocking golf shot, but it could be a really good body movement. Right. Because it takes time for everything to just start to gel together. Yeah, so it's only there, Exactly, more. yeah, with this, exactly. There's so many more elements to this whole sequence. Mm -hmm. And all we do at the moment is just working on a part of it. So it's like holding your attention there, just just for two or three shots. Have a few shots, just feeling that power from the ground. And it will be chaos. Don't worry. It has to be. I feel different. Yeah, it feels. How far it's going. Ridiculous, really, isn't it? <laughs> Get that much different straight away. When you were throwing, where's the best place to start from to just enable this to happen with ease? Very good. Because I'm not thinking about where my arms are or what they're doing. It just feels fluid. Flows. Yeah. Exactly. You've been holding yourself back trying to conform to some kind of movement which is constraining the system under tension but then like any other sport you just play with freedom it's like it's not it's not being relaxed but it's just being free in your mind see when i say free you focus very intently on your on your golf shot <laughs> which allows freedom of movement yeah, yeah well done and you're watching the ball fly, and we'll talk about ball flight in a minute, that's huge. That is massive. Yeah, I'm quite surprised that I thought that's good, really. <laughs> What's this golf shot going to feel like? Full speed, full swing, you're playing the shot here, that's it. Now you've got it, once you've got the feel, once you know what you're going to do, now go and play the shot. And all you're doing is you're just pressing the replay button, you're just doing it all again. And just watch it. Was that what you pictured? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. It doesn't seem to sink in, does it? That you spend so long stood on, especially if like you get to the first tee, you think, right, I need to be there. Yeah. And literally, you just stand there, swing, get up there, and repeat it. Yeah. Because your body knows already it's safe. It knows what you intend to do. You've already played the. It's, you played the program. I'm just going to play it again. There's variability to the system. We know that it might not be exactly not the same. It might not come off. Some, we're going to hit bad shots every now and again. There's still noise in the system, that's mm -hmm. fine. But we're decluttering. And what we're doing is we're making sure your attention's in the right place to enable you to swing optimally. And then it did what you wanted it to do. Yeah. So it's very simple. So we're throwing back again. Feel different? Yeah. Does it feel more powerful? Yeah. It feels like there's loads more speed in the swing. Yeah. Just step forward onto the carpet there. I'm just going to move this back. Now, this is where you really start to get the benefit of these drills because you can feel the interaction with the ground. Just do it, just swing it in the air. See where that power's coming from. Yeah, it feels so much different. Really low power like that. That's it. Feel the club head. There's a snap there. Yeah. It's fluid, isn't it? Yeah. Using this now. And again. That's the finish. Just going to have a few shots now, exploring all that range you've got. It's going to feel a bit out of control. And that's how it should be. Because you've been, you've, been, you've been applying too much control to your swing because that's how you've been trained to do it. But now you can let the club head free wheel. Just 
keeps flying, doesn't it, in the air? Yeah. Different feel? Definitely a different feel. The golf swing's a habit, you're rewiring, creating new habits. Very, very good. What's interesting there is how you self-corrected. You knew. You went too far to the right in your very next shot, you brought it back this way. You didn't do the same again, no. you didn't do worse, or you didn't overcorrect and go that way. You kind of took it to where you needed to go. So you're on the dial now and you're calibrating. It's like finding the frequency on a radio. Yeah. Too much to the left. Well, oh, I heard it, that was it. I went too far that way. Now you come back and now you refine it and that's it. Super sharp, super swing. There's a lot more purpose to your movement now, isn't there? Yeah, it feels like it. It just feels like everything seems to know where it wants to go. You're actually swinging now to play a golf shot, whereas before you were just swinging, you were moving to swing a golf club. Yeah. This is when people become overloaded, because you could be doing this now, and be looking over there, and over there, and over there. You'd be aware of those, it's like driving a car. Yeah. But if I said, focus on this now to do this, now focus on your hips, now focus on your shoulders, but like, one, well, I'm, I'm overloaded, I'm thinking of too much. It's just a diff it's just a different form yeah. of awareness. Superb. It just feels so smooth when you get it right. It feels like hitting the ball is, is an afterthought really. It's just a swing that's that's your outcome. Hitting the ball is just like a byproduct of a swim. Exactly. It's somewhere in the middle of the action. Brilliant that. Really push it hard down now as you go up. That's it. You can really throw it. Brilliant, now step onto the carpet and have a swing with both hands on the club. In the air, just feeling that timing. Feel that? Yeah, you can hear the difference, can't you? Yeah. Look at the extension through the legs, really use that pop of the legs. That's it. Powerful. Have a few shots now, just timing that. Remember, you're letting the whole thing go to your finish. Like you said, the ball's an afterthought, it's all about the finish, just popping it. So it's using the Lower body, we don't want any kind of load still on that foot. Beautiful well shot. It's a different way of playing golf, isn't it? Yeah. At that sort of tempo, you can understand why a normal lesson, you know, the, the old parallels. You've got no chance of you thinking about it. You've got no chance of tapping into these forces, have you? No. How can you tap into these forces when you're working at such a slow tempo and thinking? Because golf's not. Golf's a ballistic movement. Brilliant. Great shot. That's a soup. No, that's a fade finish. That's a different finish to your draw in relation to your target. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. Because you've orientated yourself this way, so now you're releasing. It's the same sequence, but you're going this way, so now you're looking that way, as opposed to just looking this way. That's reacting in, in respect of your intent of where you want the ball to start. So it's like feeling this, where do I want it, where do I want to start from to just help me with this release pattern. Mm -hmm. So you're moving around here for the draw, and more around here for your fade. Finding the tolerances between with your driver. So we want to talk about driver because this is the big thing. The ball's off the floor. Yeah. So now we're hitting it on the up, so look where the path is. It's going left. So we need to move around here just a little bit. So we've now shifted the swing direction to the right, which creates a functional path for us to play a nice little draw. Mm -hmm. So if you're setting up square, you've got a path to the left, so you've already got a fade path. And if your face closes to that path, you've got your pulls. Right. If your face is slightly square to your target now, you've got balls that start straight but then fade off. So you've got pulls and you've got fades. Let's go on there to feel the vertical forces with your driver. Now the club's longer. I want you to swing it both hands in the air, swing it back, and then just stand up to swish it through. That's it, back and forth, just in the air, around the body, that's it. Now I want you to stand up earlier, so use this, use the vert use this to get power. That's it. Now, the swing needs to be more to the right for the high draw. So it's the think of that, swing out. That's it, different feel? Yeah, definitely. There we go. So, path went to the left. Yeah. Ball started okay, you just didn't release it. That's it. Feel the difference in the swing? Yeah. Where you let the club go. 
further on before you were hanging on to it and you kind of pulled it into a fade. You were, you know, if it was the trolley, you were still on the trolley. Yeah. As opposed to you've let the trolley go. Now you can rotate and swing shallower and use that draw feel. That's it. Feel good? Yeah. See if you can put a little bit more draw on now. Feel the draw. Just come back here for me. Use your temping action. There, look at so much different that hand path. Yeah. Now put your club in. Now feel the hand path with that club. Notice where that's going. Awesome. Now that posture that you set up with, the posture, the setup match the shark. Right. It's like, um, well, it's like preloaded, isn't it? Ready to. It's all your preparation, but it's all done instinctively because you know where to go for this shot. Because all your posture is doing is it's just setting up, setting you up to make the swing as easy as possible. It's facilitating the swing. So you've got a ball fly doing the same thing all the time. Yeah. So what you've got, you've got that face to path relationship at the minute. There's your face and path, and it's kind of they're fairly similar. You're just moving around with it. Mm -hmm. Now you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, you can flip it the other way. Maybe go for a fade with it. There's your fade. Great shot. That is awesome. Wow. Shot. That's exactly it, Chris. That's, I think that's the best one. Yeah. I mean, feel good? Yeah. Yeah. It feels like I'm a bit more confident just stepping up in the ball, behind the ball, I think that I've set up for it. So there's no reason it shouldn't go that way. Exactly, it's connecting you to the golf shot, which is yeah. connecting you to the game. Just make it kind of a shorter three-quarter swing, maybe three-quarter tempo, so you can start to feel your timing. And what we don't want is the banging of the board and the swinging of the club at the same time. So it bangs, swings, bangs, swings. So you bang forward, and then it's the bang back that swings it back. Well done. Very good. Just notice how different that tempo feels. Same exercise with the driver, just swishing it in the air. What do you feel different between the driver and the iron? It just feels like the life of the club that is so much more of that. It's uh, a different time, isn't it? Yeah, ridiculous. Such a different it is. Such a different piece of equipment. Yeah. Wow. Sure. Absolutely perfect. We'll go on the course, shall we, for a couple of holes? Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, sounds good to me. Happy with that? Yeah. Yeah, it definitely seems more consistent now. And like you say, you can feel that difference. So if you can feel the difference and you know what you're doing wrong. Correct. Yeah, exactly. What a golf shot. Great <laughs> shot, Chris. Definitely drawn round. That's perfect. Par five, flag round the corner. Right. You can see it about 170 180 for maybe a seven iron and it's slightly downwind as well so we've got downwind see the ball flight so you're not just aiming at a target yeah you're playing onto the target or off the target so you're playing with the shape and you're making a swing to create the shape that's it well done Great. Distance wise, it's like 100 yards. Coming out the rough and it's downwind. This is kind of controlling the distance because this is going to come out with low spin. So it's, pretty, it's a hot lie, so it's a flyer. So it's landing it kind of front edge of the green and letting it chase up. But it depends on the elevation. If you're going to fly it higher, it's going to land softer. So it might be worth playing. What have you got? That's a 52. Yeah, I'm trying to play a lower fly. Yeah. A little bit heavy, wasn't it? Yes. Good stuff. Chance for a par now. 139, 140 to the middle, and it's a middle pin. So, and it's off the left slightly, so it's a case of do you draw it into the breeze or do you set it off a, a bit left edge of the green and play for the breeze or play for the flag and play for the middle you're going to use the wind aim at the flag yeah you... with a bit of fade you've got all the green because the green the flag's cut left center so you've got all the green to the right so you're maximizing your landing area well, that's a club wind i'd say so i'd probably go eight
fight, it just pitched right at the back. It was a strong shot, wasn't it? Yeah, what a shot. It's more than I was expecting. You've got options. You either hit it lower, land it shorter and let this take the sting out, or try and be more Q and land it. It's a much smaller landing spot. Mm -hmm. Roll down, and you've, got, you've got three grades, but this is you know, if you're on your own practicing like this, yeah, this is where you'd have a couple of balls and yeah, try I'll the different the options. Down and see what, um, I mean, if you're going to be playing 56, you need to deal off that down, yeah, because it's the ball flight. We need a low ball flight, it's going to give us a run. Hands forward, deal off it down to like an eight iron. That's it, perfect. Great shot, that's brilliant. That will do for me. Brilliant. Well done, mate. Brilliant, Chris. Well done. Enjoyed yeah, it. I really enjoyed that. Really good. Well done. Thanks, Helen. Thank you very much. So we've got some uh, plenty to practice now. Yeah, definitely. What have you taken away from that? What's been the big key points for you? I think the different forces and the different bits and pieces. Definitely that lag for me is yeah. something that I've not really paid much attention to if I've ever had it um, and that swing position and how it's similar to what's already cemented in my brain from the bowling that's definitely going to be a big thing I think for me so yeah just step away I think you're not really playing golf here you're just swinging your arms about exactly because the club's doing what your hand does yeah so it's like what do I recognize with my hands what would they do for this shot yeah and then how does the body move for the power? You know the forces, the sequencing, and it's kind of it all just fuses together. Yeah. So yeah, and then you can play around with it like you were doing on the range. You got really creative with it and started the different shot, playing different shots and shapes. And it's um it's exciting, isn't it, to go and develop the game now? And yeah, like you say, practice with an experimental kind of approach. So you're using all the feedback really productively and just essentially using it to get better mm -hmm. all the time. Every time you just refining what you do yeah it's just about learning your limits now isn't it as to yeah you know we're, what are you capable of which is, which is different now yeah awesome brilliant enjoyed it yeah really enjoyed that well done chris um,